So welcome everyone to this nice relaxing class. We will start with breathing practice. First, just being aware of your breathing. Sitting up straight with sit bones, pressing, pushing down towards the ground or wherever you are sitting, feeling the cushion or the mat under you. And then elongate your spine upward. Draw your shoulders up to your ears and then draw them back down. And hopefully your eyes are already closed and breathe. Nice breath in and out of your nostrils. If you want, you can also sigh out through your mouth to feel more relaxation. and breathe through the nose. Now that we are aware of the breath, the incoming and outgoing breath through the nostrils. We will a little bit control the flow. We will inhale for the count of four and exhale for the count of four. And we'll do two rounds like this. And then we will extend the out breath a little bit. So each time, a little bit longer out breath. So first, inhale and exhale fully. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, and now continue the four and eight. Do one more round like this and then breathe normally. Breathing normally. And now we're gonna hold the breath after inhalation. Inhale for four. Hold for seven, exhale for eight. So exhale fully. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight.
Inhale, four. Hold, seven. Exhale, eight. Continue. And two more rounds like this. Then breathe normally. Just relax the body, relax the mind, breathe. Then bring your hands to your heart center, rub your palms. Cover your eyes. Inhale, open your eyes inside. Take your hands to your face, little massage. And your neck. And shake out. Here we're going to start with head um, rolls, neck rolls. So first we will put the right ear to the right shoulder. Feel that stretch. And then the opposite. Again to the right, and this time try to turn your head to the nose to the shoulder as well. And then back your ear to the shoulder. And then back to center again, left. Turn your nose. And then ear. And back. Now turn to the right. And to the left. To the right. And to the left. And then circle your head. Opposite way. Up and down. Nice and slow movements, up and down. And then release, moving the shoulders a little bit, opening your elbows. So elbows pushing back first, open the chest, and then start to bring the elbows together. Big circles. Releasing tension from the shoulders and neck backwards. And then stretch your arms up, look up between your hands, 
down to the right side. Open, breathe. Bring this left arm down behind you and then back up. Stretch overhead again and then down behind you and back up. Great, one more. Behind you, down and back up. Hold, stretch out. And then slowly back. Again, we're gonna stretch up between the hands, looking up and down to the left side. Bring this right arm behind you slowly and back up. And down and back. And one more down and back up and hold and slowly back shake out and we're gonna move a little bit dynamically right and left in a twist one two one two one Two, four, three, two, one, and stay on one side nicely, slowly opening, drawing the back shoulder back, breathe. And the opposite. And slowly back, forward bend. And now, when you come up, change your leg setting. So the other leg is in. And then forward bend again. Great, breathe. So from here, you're gonna sit back and take the right leg out, sit up, nice and tall, right leg is widely open, inhale, arms up, exhale down to the right, and stay. You're gonna stay here for a moment, for a minute actually. And let me just give you some nice music. Stay there. Staying in this position for four more breaths. From here, we're gonna come back with the left hand down next to you. And then we're gonna push up onto the left knee and stretch out, beautiful right side stretch.
stay and stretch, push your right foot away. Each time when you inhale, you stretch more and push your hips forward. So you open the hip flexors as well, stretching them out, breathe. And slowly come back. And now you are facing your right leg. So sitting up a little bit closer in. So the right leg is in front of you and slowly step your hands down next to the leg all the way as far as you can go. Breathe. And just relax your mind, the whole body. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Go a little bit deeper if you can. Push yourself down a little bit. Breathe. Last five breaths, go a little bit deeper, relaxing down. Last inhalation, last exhalation with inhale, we come up. And we're just going to sit in the butterfly and just sitting here, not pushing, not bending forward, just sitting, close your eyes. Then slowly, we're going to open the left leg out. Sit up and coming down to the left side this time. So you are open as much as you can. Coming down slowly, never pushing, just allowing the body to relax down to the left side. Breathe, not pushing. Five more breaths here. Going a little bit deeper as your body is allowing more. Three. And release, come up. Right hand will go down on the floor. Come up onto your right knee and stretch your whole left side.
pushing your hips forward. Remember to stretching the stretch the whole front body. Two more. Last one. And then bringing yourself down, facing your left knee, left leg. You're going to come forward down onto the left leg. Nice and slow, not pushing, just allowing. Staying here. Going a little bit deeper for the last five. Three. And last one. And with inhalation coming up. And again, we are back to butterfly sitting. Just sitting. Letting the knees just fall out like they want to point to the sides. And then next is our forward bend, very slowly leading from the chest, coming forward down. Last five breath, going a little bit lower, deeper. Close your eyes, go deep inside. Very good. And coming back up. Doing some windscreen wipers where you open your feet wide and then one knee down, the other knee. Wipers. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake out the legs. Okay, move the toes, a little relax here. And we're gonna come up to child's pose. So first, just sitting up on your heels, open your knees wide, and push forward into wide-legged child's pose. Breathe through the nose. If you want, breathe out through the mouth. Let go.
Very good. Slowly coming back up to all fours and move the hips side to side. So there's going to be some low lunge uh, in a minute. Just move your hips. Maybe you want to circle. Ease the hips. And then you want to take your right foot forward and moving forwards and backwards. Very little, not the old, uh, old way. Just a little bit, feeling into the hips. And then stay here, trying to push as much as you can without actually feeling uh, the strain. So there's no strain. Breathe. Staying here for a minute, one more minute here. So just to feel that stretch. So on this side, there will be two more poses. Last five breath. Three more. Last inhalation, last exhalation, pushing your hips back, half split. This is just for counter pause. Not staying here very long, just breathe. And then we're gonna go into pigeon. So you're gonna take your right foot in and the knee between your hands, left leg stretching back. So if you need, you can use a cushion under your right hip, only right hip and first sit up making your left leg nicely stretched back. <clears throat> Sitting up, very good. Nice one. And then coming down on your forearms. And if you want all the way down as, as you wish. If you want to lie down, sleeping pigeon, staying here. Last five breaths. Last one. And coming back up slowly. So staying in this position, you want to bring your left knee higher and you're going to open up your right foot and you are in this 90-90 position. Okay, so your hip is aligned with your knee. The hip is aligned with the knee down and there is a 90 degree angle. So again, if you need, you can use a cushion under your right buttocks. So sitting up first, 
feel that stretch, feel that opening. This might be not so comfortable with everyone, but we try. And if you want to make it a bit more intense, come forward into forward bend. Staying wherever you are. This is an option. You can just stay where you are. Or if you feel this is really not comfortable, put a cushion under your right buttocks and you will feel more even. A very thin one is enough, actually. Like this. And then you will feel more even. Okay, so if we are in the forward band, then stay there. Five more breaths here, going a little bit deeper. Two more. And slowly come up and release this positions by shaking your legs out. You're gonna go do all these poses on the other side, shake out and stay here for a moment. Just relax. And slowly come up, all fours. Okay, so now it's going to be the left leg. So first, just move your hips, feeling your hips side to side. And then circle. Opposite. Right, and then we're gonna take the left foot to the front into the equestrian pose. So moving a little bit, feeling. And then eventually we just stay here and breathe. Five more breaths, going a little bit deeper. Last one, pushing your hips back into half split counter pose. Try to keep your legs straight and your back straight. And then we're gonna go into pigeon with the left knee in front, right leg stretching back. 
So in yin yoga, it's called swan. So again, you can just first adjust, sit up, breathe, and come down if you wish. Well, it's recommended <laughs> because it's more relaxing. Staying here. Last five breaths, going a little bit deeper. Last two. And slowly come up, slowly, slowly up into your square or not square, which is actually deer pose in yin. So this uh, 90, 90, 90 degree here, 90 degree here, 90 degree here. So there are many 90 degrees. Make sure your hips are facing forward. And then come forward if you wish. So first you just sit up, feel comfortable and feel the pose. And then if you feel you want to go further and deeper, come down. And now last five. Three. Last one. And slowly coming back up and release your legs. Shake out. Circle. And just stay for a while, just feeling your body, replenishing here, breathing. Very good. Then come on to all fours. And this time we're going to have a downward facing dog. Nice stretch out and paddle the feet. Stay with one leg bent and the other heel push down and push into your hands, really stretching out that straight leg.
and do the other leg. Feel the difference. Then slowly sit down and child's pose. This time the knees are closed, arms above your head. Then we put the palms together and bring the hands just behind your head. Two more breaths. Then slowly sit up for a very short breathing session. So sitting on your cushion again. Right hand on your belly, left on your chest. And five complete breaths. Breathing into the belly, push the breath up. And exhale. Four more like this. So complete yogic breath means you breathe first into the belly. Last one. Very good. Then hands back down. We're going to do alternate nostril breathing. Left hand into this mudra, Gyan mudra. Index finger is pushing into the thumb. Other fingers stretched down on your knee. Right hand into this mudra where these two fingers point to the third eye, and then the other fingers will close nostrils. So you can try. And we're gonna inhale through both nostrils and then close the right, exhale left. Inhale through left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale through right. Close the right, exhale left. Carry on this way, two more rounds. Inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. That's one round. Once you exhaled last time on your left, then again, five complete breath, right hand on the belly, left on the chest. Deep inhale, push the belly out first and then exhale.
And once you finish the five deep yogic breath, then you lie down. But if you can lie down with your legs on a stool or on a sofa, that would be better. So if you have a sofa next to you, that's very good because you can then put your legs up. The way you should lie down is your knee and hips should be in one line. So like this. And just relax here for the next few minutes. Really letting your hips, your core, your legs, everything just relax. And this is your time to relax. Just let you be here. Staying here, feeling grateful for our choices in life. We've got the choices, the freedom to choose. which is quite a privilege compared to some people in this world.
We have two minutes here. Two minutes left. Last minute here. Last two breaths before we start to move. Then start to move your fingers and toes, wiggle them. Move your head from side to side. Stretch out your arms overhead. Yes. And then come down to one side. Stay there for a moment. And then slowly sit up using your hands. Push yourself up to sitting. And we're going to chant Om and Shanti. Inhale. Om. Shanti. 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 Thank you all for coming today. And namaste.